Oh, well, woof. Who's this cutie? Don't get shy now if you enter this bar, fella. Come on, front row seat. Business is at a drag today with all this snow. Hmm, never seen you before. Or any human walk through that door, as a matter of fact. Come to pick your poison? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not an easy trip to come to a hidden well. Be a real shame if someone didn't take a drink or make a wish or three. Now you're talking. What's it gonna be, Mr. Mortal? What? Never drunk in any booze before? Let me put a fix to that right quick. Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna hit you with anything to make you blind. Yet. Oh, I'm just pulling your leg. Let's see. Gonna need this, some of those. That's not ripe yet. Ooh, this one will do quite nicely. Nice and sweet. Alright, this is one of our signature specials. The number one cure to a bad day. The panacea. First, we start off with a few ounces of royal honey and mango nectar. This stuff was collected straight from the crotchety queen's hive down south. I swear that her little hive went from the size of a bear cave to a castle. Someone might need to cut her rein a little short before her drones invade everything. To balance the sweetness of this drink, I'm going to give it that sour hit from a freshly squeezed lime along with some juice ginger. And now for the fun part. Ah, uh, Saranya's Reserve. The most sinfully delightful scotch throughout the underworld. What's so special about this bottle? This stuff was made from the orders of the High Empress of the Succubi herself. You see, there was this priest who made the wine for each session, so she took this whip and... Oop, not allowed to disclose that. I could tell you, but I would have to kill you. And no, being dead inside doesn't count. I have seen shambling corpses come to get a peace of mind here. Now then, I'll fill up the rest of this shaker with this liquid gold. Now, we don't use ice here so we don't dilute the flavor of the alcohol, so I'll chill this using stones permanently chilled by this Yuki Ana lady who owns this inn way down north. It'd be wise not to accept any offers to your parlor if you catch my drift. I love this part. Hmm? Oh, afraid I'm gonna crush this little thing with my big, vicious claws. Well, you'd be right. I broke six shakers that way, so... Look, Ma, no hands! Just a little lemon zest and voila! The panacea. And for something to wash down. We have some spice trail mix made from toasted pecans, walnuts, and cashews, two decade-aged Swiss and Gouda cheese, and our most recent and my personal favorite, teriyaki beef jerky fresh from the smoker. Enjoy! It's the right amount of sweet, right? You can just taste the scotch slowly swirl over your tongue. <laughs> to tell you the rare truth, we actually didn't serve those snacks until last month. So there's this blacksmith west of here. Apparently his mentor dumped him here because his moping was driving her nuts. Oh no, he didn't drink his guts out. In fact, he was quite reluctant to drink at first. So I served him with this very same drink. It really lifted his spirits. He started to snack on these treats that he was kind enough to share. I feel kind of bad for eating the rest of his stash. We chatted for hours. Granted, he had more drinks. I managed to loosen the recipe for his snacks. It was actually kind of dirt cheap and easy to make, so we hit them with the same fancy spices we use for the drinks and hype it up. Hmm, watching you drink those down is giving me a little drought myself. 
time for the devil's due. Well, you take two shots of this scotch. Two generous shots. Add three virgin souls, and now... Woo! I'd offer you a sip, but the souls require a bit of a palate and a strong stomach. Now then, you said you wanted to hear some juicy gossip. What's this now? Oh, I've seen these troublemakers before. As much as I want to disclose private information to some fellow monster ladies, they were paying customers. Since you put it that way... Now, where did I put those? What are you staring at? My tail? I'd let you pet it if you can get past the searing skin fling. Sorry. Alright, let's see who's on the chopping block. Well, there's this creepy pale girl with this grim cloak, snow white hair and no eyes. I'd really hope to avoid riding her out since she gave me this comfy collar that helped restrain... my cravings. But I guess since she's selling cursed stuff without a license, it's probably for the better if someone dealt with her before this bar gets associated with her. Here's her card. Down northwest from here is a beautiful forest preserve with deer, buffalo, and plenty of salmon inhabiting it. Unfortunately, there have been rumors of a poacher lurking about in the woods, but no one can find them. It's almost as if they're one with nature, seemingly melting into the shadows when they seem to pinned. And lastly, I got the address of that snow lady. What? I said our stones are permanently chilled. Also, that bitch is bad for business for me. She sets aside mortal men to feed on their life energy and who knows what else. Someone really needs to put her on ice for once. <laughs> You'll do something about them? That'll be a sight to see. Hmm, thank you for your patronage. Bring some friends next time. And, hey, call me if you need anything else. Oh, I'm gonna miss that guy. I wonder why he smells like a tiger, though. Either they're a zoologist, or they aren't all bark. <laughs>